Tributes continue to pour in following the death of the African National Congress Member of Parliament and Chairperson of the Portfolio Committee of Police, Tina Jumat Peterson. The devastating news was confirmed by the ANC on Monday, stating that the 59-year-old passed away at her home. Now, before joining Parliament in 2009, Jomat Peterson served as an MEC in the Northern Cape. She was later appointed as the Minister of Energy between 2014 and 2017, but she did not complete her term in office as she resigned from the National Legislature after leaving Cabinet. At the time of her death, Jumat Peterson was embroiled in accusations that she tried to solicit a bribe from suspended public protector Busisu Mkwabani's husband to make the inquiry into Mkwabani's fitness to hold office go away. The seasoned politician also faced scrutiny for the illegal sale of 10 million rand, rather 10 million barrels of strategic oil reserves at far below the market value in 2015 during her tenure as the energy minister. Her colleagues in the political industry extended their heartfelt condolences to her family and friends for their loss. The Speaker of the National Assembly and the Chairperson of the NCOP have said that the untimely passing of one of South Africa's seasoned politicians and lawmakers was a great loss not only to the family and the, her political party, but the nation which she has served in various capacities over the years. Ms. Jumat Peterson served as a member of the National Assembly representing the ANC and also as the chairperson of the Portfolio Committee on Police. Recently, she served as a member of the Section 194 ATO Committee as well as the ATO Committee on Flood, Disaster Relief and Recovery. She was really a dedicated uh, person, a dedicated member of parliament, and she was very loyal to the ANC. And it is surely a loss for the ANC. And I want to express my sincere condolences uh, to her loved ones. She was working to ensure that the national executive were accountable to parliament for the exercise of their functions. Obviously, when we lose members of parliament, it's never a good day. And obviously, this is made even more sad by the many, many setbacks in her personal life that Ms. Jumat Peterson had had. Uh, she had not had an easy life, and she would share some of those stories with colleagues in parliament across party lines. She was firm and a no-nonsense chairperson, but a Democrat. COPE conveys our heartfelt condolences to her family, friends, comrades, and her political party, the ANC. May her soul rest in peace.